the brain stem, why do you think this is? Uh, no. Okay. Cerebrum is up here. So this whole thing is the brain stem. So what's the bulge in the brain stem? Oh. Does everybody know where I am? <laughs> so this is the bond, what's this? The uh, 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 got it. good. So we'll just say M O here. The oblongata. So what are these guys? Olives. Very good. Olives. All right. Now, if we, if we have essentially this part of the brainstem, we have essentially everything we need to know for landmarks for the cranial nerve. But we'll start out here with something that has nothing to do with this brainstem, however, and that would be these two great big nerves here. And what are they? The olfactory nerve. Very good. Olfactory nerve. Put an X in front of here. What's this? Oh, that's the optic nerve. Very good. Okay, a couple of prongs sticking up like this. What are those? Oculo. Oculo motor. Very good. Oh, oh, oh. So far, so good, right? The next one is going to be that little bitty guy, right? Coming around the back called the trochlear nerve. It's nerve number four. When I say nerve number four it comes through the back door because it comes around the back of the pumps. Okay? Right nerve number four. Nerve number five are these massive whipping nerves. You do all kinds of wonderful things. I'm not going to do the branches here though for you. I'm just going to do this nerve as it stands nerve number five, and that would be the three twins. Trigeminal. Trigeminal. Trigeminal nerve. Okay. Of course, good. Now, imagine that the pause is the face of a clock. We did that. Nerve number six would be at six o'clock, right? Nerve number six is the inducement nerve. It is again innervating the lateral rectus muscle of the eye. And so I would say that nerve, the ocular motor nerve is maybe 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. I would say that this is actually, no, let's call this, uh, let's call this new grids, okay? So, um, well, now let's say 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. And this would be 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Right? That would be the trochlear nerve. And then at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock would be the trigeminal nerve. Does that make sense? Yeah. If the bonds were a clock. All right. And number six at 6 o'clock here would be number six, which is the, the piece. It's good. Okay, now the next nerve, if we work our way laterally, this nerve here working laterally, number seven is the facial nerve. There's actually three nerves in a row here, lateral to the abuses. And they're very difficult to find, and oftentimes when I do a dissection, I wind up losing them because they are very, uh, very brittle, very fragile nerves. So I haven't even looked to see what nerves I've actually captured in my skull, so, or my brain, I should say. So we're going to find that out in a few minutes. Okay, if we take a look at this one next to it, this is nerve number eight, and that's the stimulocochlear. The stimulocochlear nerve. Then number nine is sometimes right in this cluster here, sometimes just a little bit below that. And that's the nerve for gagging and gases, which is the glossal pharyngeal nerve. Very good, number nine. pharyngeal nerve. Okay, we're almost there, aren't we? Number 10, the vagus nerve behind the olive. Vagus, behind the olive. Number 11, the staircase. 
or the fire escape. Going down the medulla oblongata, and that is the accessory nerve. So you have access to the staircase, do you know? Okay. Accessory nerve. You see that all right? Okay. And then finally we're going to jump in front of the olive here. We're going to have this nerve in front of the olive. And that nerve is number 12. And that is hypoglossal. Hopefully that's something you can see, but nonetheless, I think we all know the last one because we can now. Hypoglossal nerve, right? 